Hello there, welcome back to the new video. Today we'll be talking about GPT-0, which is one of the ways of detecting if a text is written by AI or not. Over the news, people have been talking a lot about banning chat GPT, and mostly because students have been using it to write assignments and lab tests, which is and also is not a correct step to take in my opinion. During this time, Edward Tian found this opportunity to devise an algorithm that detects if a text is generated by AI or not. You can follow Edward on his substack and if you are interested in checking out the demo for GPT-0, head out to this link. So GPT-0 essentially works on two principles. One is on calculating the perplexity and second is burstiness. Talking about perplexity, consider you have a document D that has N words going from W1 to WN. If you want to calculate the likelihood of that document, you would go around doing the multiplication of probabilities for the word that you are seeing at time Tth based on whatever words it has generated in the past. So the formula P of W1 to WN expands to P of W1, which is the first word. Then when we want to generate second word, we'll look at what the first word was. And that is what we multiply. And accordingly, we, we unroll this formula till we are at the nth word. So perplexity is inversely proportional to the likelihood of the document. So the higher the probability of a generated text, the lower the perplexity would be, which means the lower the randomness would be. Hence, we can deduce like it's mostly written by an AI system. Because we humans, when we tend to write, we use all sort of words ranging from easy to hard to using synonyms for expressing our emotions while we write the text, which is little unlikely for the machines because the way they have been trained is on a very refined language and that is what they are good at reproducing. And such text will always have more or less very low perplexity. So one of the ways you can kind of go about training this model, because you might be asking the question, right? Because GPT-3 doesn't give the confidence scores. So how do you calculate or how do you build the system? So one of the ways like you train a student model, which is the pink color bot, consider this to be GPT-2, which is trained on the output that is generated by GPT-3 or equivalent language model. And now when a new prompt comes in, it first goes to GPT-3, it would generate text. And now this is the text that we are interested in knowing if, if it was generated by AI or not. We pass this to our smaller version of the GPT model that calculates the perplexity of the text that's written and outputs whether this document was written by AI or not. Second method that it depends on is burstiness. Burstiness is nothing but a measure of variability in the complexity of the generated text. Now this complexity could be the length of the text, the perplexity, and so on and so forth. So for example, if we talk about length of sentence, then x-axis denotes S1 to S9, which is all the nine sentences, and y-axis essentially denotes the length of the sentence. So all the yellow colored crosses is the length of the respective sentence, whereas all the pink colored crosses are length of the sentence generated by AI. And by visually observing this graph, we can clearly see a lot of variance happening if we join all the yellow crosses compared to if we join all the pink ones, which again is very intuitive because we as humans are not trained to write sentences that almost are of equal length as we progress in our writing. So there would be a lot of variation or burstiness that would happen compared to what is usually seen when you see an AI generated text. So that is exactly what we are trying to capture over here. So higher the burstiness, higher the chances that it is generated by a human. So now seeing the overall picture to how the inference is going to happen, you're given a text, you have a smaller version of GPT that is trained on the outputs of some other large language model and has the ability to classify if a text was written by AI or not. You give that text to this model and based on the perplexity and burstiness score, it would say if it was human or not. But the main question is, can GPT-0 be fooled? Possibly. And these are some of the pointers that I thought of if you want to really go notorious and dumb the system out. So the first point is that you add stochasticity in the generation process. Now this could be by increasing the temperature or by increasing the value of k if you are doing top k sampling. So such a stance would kind of help language model generate text that is not so likely because it would going around in the distribution and also have a chance of selecting second, third or fourth word rather than always choosing the first word from there. The second was paraphrasing. So if you paraphrase the text generated by GPT-3, will GPT-0 work? So I don't have an answer for this, but I highly doubt. So the third point being inducing deliberate spelling mistakes, which again is kind of a similar to point two, where you introduce spelling mistakes 
or play around with punctuation so that the text looks a little unorganized, which is more likely it's written by a human. So that's also an experiment to see if GPT-0 catches this or not. And the last one being writing prompts that generate highly variable length text. So yeah, these are my thoughts and it would be really interesting to see how GPT-0 behaves when played around with any of these parameters. So yeah, that is it for this video. I'll meet you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.